Hi, welcome back to PowerPoint tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn animating text, object, and PowerPoint. So in this, in this video, we have already created a template based on our need. And in this slide, we can see that we have eight number of people who are a, a team member. So we're going to make these animations based on this information. So we have a tab which can be uh, easily checked in. Animations basically add some, some sort of excitement, new sort of creative attention to the audience. So if you want to add more attention to your slide, well, you can do these animations. And PowerPoint is so powerful tool for adding animations to your text and objects. You can head on to Animations tab. And in this tab, we have a lot of things we can explore from our perspective. Like if we, if we click on the tab of this text frame, and if you want to make this happen, like if you want to make this animated, like we have some sort of optionals from entrance, emphasis, and exit, and motion path. So we have four stage of animations, like entrance, which happens to be the first entrance by appearance of any object, and then emphasis, which happens while the object stays on the templates or presentations. And we have another option, which is basically exiting. So the fourth option is motion path, which basically works around the path, around the way. Okay. So let's say we want to make this animated into like fly in or appear or we can make it flying, okay? We have a animation effect options which can be redirected from anywhere, like we can uh, make this happen from, from the top, okay? That makes sense. And also for the second title, we can make it appear. That means it is quite good to go. And if you want to have a little bit of previewing then we can click on here okay one by one and we have two little icons that indicates that we have the first presentations animation and the second animation here so these are the indicators that says what what animations are where the animations are applied so if you want to add one more or two two animations at the same time, then you can click on here, the first ap appearance, and then you can add on the second animations from here. So that means you can apply two or multiple animations at the same time at the first exist or uh, items or something like that. So uh, for our first perspective, we want to make these animations one by one. So that means we uh, while the first animations happens, then the second animations happens right after that. So we're going to head on to animation panel. And then we can see that there are two indicators that can say. So this is the first animations and the takes frame. OK. And we want to make this second animations right after the first animations ends. So that means we can say start after previous. So that means the first animation ends, then you have the second animations. So let's say uh, one more time, we can preview that. Good, good to go, okay, fine. Uh, or else we can, we can make the animations a little bit longer, like timing, effort options. There are a lot of options that you can do. So in the appearances, we have uh, delayed like one second or half seconds. So we can go with one seconds. I guess that works. 
Okay, perfect. So one more time, we're gonna head on here, and then we have pop in these animations. So for the second animations, we're gonna change the animations to a little bit newer text formage. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say we're gonna make in flying or fading or zooming or any sort of styling. Okay, flying. Let's say what makes is flying. One more time. Okay, perfect. While the first and second animations is done, we have other options that can be done, like these images that can be brought in or flying or floating in any sort of appearances. Let's say we, we appear, just appear. And this is our third group of animations or else we can uh, make them happen. Fine. Good. So we can also change the direction from where we want to make our animations come from. Okay, let's say from left. Great. And all of our informations and directorial names will be popped in like fading or appeared from fading. Okay, let's say we want to make them four animations. Okay, so these are these are looking good. Like I said, that we can make them. Okay, we can make them animated from after the previous animations. Okay, done. And the okay. The second animations after the first animations. Okay, cool. So we already have these first few animations up there. Let's say we can preview them first, last. Okay, go. And the fourth type we can also bring them in, like fly in, but this time from the left or right form. Okay, that's good. And then we can fade in them one more time. Or appear right after them. So let's say we're gonna we're gonna add them right after the previous. Right, and then this one right after this. So let's say we're gonna he head on to preview and let's see how this works overall. Okay, cool. That's great. That's great. And I guess that this is the animation so we want to pop in from any sort of presentations, and that'll be like a few clicks. So if you want to make this customized. And you can head on here and we have a lot of options out there if you click on here you can see a lot of options out there trigger animation painter that means you can have a copy paste of same style to the another object that means you have these options also we have a timer time work durations uh, sort of style like that and you can also move them up and down by move later on, move earlier. So that means you have all of these options to your animation button. So in this video, we try to make you a little bit of comfortable while you learn and do some kind of animations to your presentations. If you do these animations perfectly time after time, you're gonna he head on to the best results of your animations. Also neat and clean animations, works so perfectly that means audience gonna love this so thank you if you like this video hit subscribe to our channel